Hello everyone, this is Eric from MT Off-Road. Hey, today I want to talk a little bit about oil. I'm certainly no oil expert, just from uh, what I've been learning, reading on the internet, researching, reading different oil companies, information. But today, I want to talk about oil in our off-road machines particularly. In my Razor, in your side-by-side ATVs, even in your older cars, we all face with the same issue. All modern day cars run a roller valve train where our machines don't run a roller valve train similar to the older vehicles on the road. Yes, there's still a four stroke engine, doesn't take anything special with the oil, I mean oil's oil, right? Well, kind of. Our machines and older cars, they take a little extra lubrication for that metal on metal contact where the camshaft is riding directly on the valves for a non-roller valve train or a flat tappet valve train. So we're going to need extra properties in the oil like zinc and phosphorus to provide that, that film strength in that bond as to not wipe out a camshaft load. Well, I got some oils here because I want to do a comparison because we see a lot on the forums. What oil should I run? What oil should I run? Which one's best? And we hear AMS oil and SuperTech and, you know, tra uh, um, Rotella and everything in between. Personally, for me, I've done some reading on Rotella. I run the Rotella 540 full synthetic. It has high levels of zinc and phosphorus in it, which is good for that flat tappet well, non roller valve train. Now, Polaris recommends their PS4, and of course they recommend it, it's Polaris, but Polaris doesn't make oil, they make machines, and some of the bottles are oil, so what's in the Polaris oil? And there's also the Walmart SuperTech, full synthetic, 1030, ATV oil. Is it the same? What are the differences between them? I I'm, I'm gonna find out. We're gonna send this in and get some lab results back. I've already got some lab sample results from the Rotella, and to compare it with the Polaris and the Walmart SuperTech, the Walmart SuperTech is $5.80 a quart. Walmart's right down the road. They used to be open 24 hours until all this coronavirus thing started. Maybe they'll go back to that. So it's real easy for me to run down there and grab some oil. Polaris, on the other hand, this oil is $12 a quart. And Polaris dealer is about 20 to 25 minutes each way drive from my house. And then I'm having to work around their hours. More inconvenient and twice the price for oil. And then we got the Rotella. Um, Gosh, I can't even remember how much the Rotella is. I'll, I'll, I'll post it up on here. But the Rotella is a fair price also. And fair, Rotella you can also get from Walmart. And it comes in the gallon size, so it's super easy. I can do two of my oil changes or change oil on both of my machines with just the one gallon. It's convenient. Uh, it has the high levels of zinc and phosphorus in there, which is what I want. And it's close to get. So today, through some independent lab testing, I am going to send off some oil samples here. To see is the Polaris stuff really that much better if it is I'll absolutely switch back to it and run it so it came to my machine factory but I've never ran it since the first oil change so I don't know is the Walmart stuff just as good for half the price or is the Rotella just as good or even better or worse than any of them I really want to find out and I want to share that information with you guys so these are brand new bottles um, just picked up so we got the Polaris oil here. This is a PS4 full synthetic 550. As you can see, it's brand new. Now we also have SuperTech. SuperTech is brand new also. There's the plastic cracking, brand new. And we're gonna do the same thing with this. Now this is a full synthetic 1030, I believe. Yep, 1030, full synthetic four stroke ATV oil for side-by-side -side ATVs on the pictures. So we'll see if it's the same or if it's not. I'd really like to know if that $12 a quart oil is that much better than the $6 a quart oil. I'm all about saving some money and the convenience of being able to swing into Walmart just right down the road. 
that's a huge benefactor for me. And like I said, we'll take all of these and we'll compare them all three against each other. Of which one's better? Which has more properties in it? Uh, more of the zinc, more of the phosphorus. Does the Polaris oil have something special in it that the others don't have? I'm really interested to find out. So there we have it. We've got the Polaris oil ready to send off. We have the Walmart oil ready to send off and I've already got a lab sheet back for the Rotella. Stay tuned and we'll compare these products. Results are in of the three-way oil shootout between the Polaris oil at $12 a quart, the Supertech ATV oil at $5.86 a quart, and the Rotella T6 540 at $22 a gallon, which puts it at $5.50 a quart roughly. Now, I'm going to say I'm kind of surprised, but not really surprised at the results. Now, this was done by an independent lab testing. Uh, I sent these in to get the numbers and the results. Uh, I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. I'm not sponsored by anybody in these labs or anything like this. Not sponsored by for any of these oils or any of these companies. This is out of my own pocket because I wanted to know and I wanted to share this information with you. So let's start with the Polaris oil. What factory says you have to run to keep your warranty and everything else. All right, here's the results from Blackstone Laboratories. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by anybody or paid by anybody. Wish I was, but this is all out of my own pocket. This says the Polaris oil looks like a good candidate for use as well compared to the Supertech. Its additive packages consist of the same elements as Supertech oil, just in different quantities. The small amount of metal, iron in this sample, is likely just coming from the manufacturing process and isn't harmful. The viscosity is in the correct range for 550 oil, reading at 83.7 SUS or 16.43 CST, and no water or solids were detected in the oil. The TBN starts at 6.7 for this oil, so there's lots of active additive at your disposal. Reminder that 1.0 is considered too low for that reading. Now what TBN is, TBN measures the... Uh, kind of the life of the oil, of how long you want to run your oil. Do you want to run it past your recommended oil changes? Uh, how long do you want to run it? So in these samples, the TBN, yes, it, there is a little bit of difference, not a whole lot, but it's, I don't believe it's really that important because we change our oils out every summer or after every couple of rides. Some of you guys, you know, maybe, you know, like to run through the swamps and change oil often. So that's a negatable number, even though it is close. So in the Polaris oil, the two things you're going to want to look for is the zinc and the phosphorus mainly. Uh, those are your anti-wear, anti-friction properties like the cam riding on the buckets, you know, old school, small block Chevy, you know, non-roller lifter or something like that. So those are your, your uh, shear friction, um, your anti-shear and pressure, pressure additives that you want in your oil. Now this has 860 parts per million of zinc and 756 parts per million of phosphorus but it also has 2,325 2, parts per million of calcium. Now, what calcium does is calcium, what it, it takes any particulates, it traps any particulates that may be floating around the oil and it keeps them suspended. Hopefully to trap them out in the filter, but that's, that's calcium's job is to help pick up any of those particulates that might be floating around in the oil, some dust or anything like this. So, moving on here, uh, it's got a viscosity at let's see at the uh, cst viscosity at 100 degrees celsius is 16.43 flash point of 4.75 it's got a tbn of 6.7 now like i said that tbn that's if if you want to run your oil for a long time like past the 3,000 miles or 5,000 miles or whatever but we change this oil so much that's pretty uh pretty non-important for us let's move on to the uh, rotella oil Onto the Rotella oil. This is the full synthetic uh, T6540. So you will expect to see a little bit of difference being it's not a 550, but let's look at the numbers anyway. On the Rotella oil, your TBN is 10.94. So this oil is good to run for a long time. It has a, a, a lot of additive in there. So it'll last a long time. It doesn't make it do any better of a job. It just makes it last longer. You have your viscosity. At the 100 degrees Celsius, it's CST at 14.09, and compared to the uh, Polaris's at 16.43. Now, what that's telling you is at that temperature, the Polaris oil will be a little thicker still. It'll be a little more viscous. Um, 
but not a whole lot, not a whole lot of difference there. So let's move on down here to what we're, what one thing we're really, you know, looking for is this uh, zinc and this phosphorus and this calcium. This phosphorus on the rotella is 1,157 parts per million of phosphorus. Now compare that to the Polaris oil of 756 parts per million of phosphorus and the phosphorus in the rotella is much higher. Now the zinc, 1,310 parts per million of zinc compared to 860 parts per million in the Polaris oil. Again, much higher, much better for anti-shear and for pressure points and just for protection of that metal on metal surfaces. It also has a little molly in it, 68 parts per million of molly, and the uh, Polaris oil had 30 parts per million of molly. That's just, uh, it, it's a little something that's in there with it as far as for, um, for anti-wear or shear protection, or not really shear protection, but just slipperiness. So the Rotella oil actually comes out very, very good at right around five and a half bucks a quart. Now let's move on to the one that we, that we love to hate. You know, we, we all got a Walmart and do we ever really know is Walmart oil any good or is it just crap because it's Walmart? Well, let's look at this. Let's look at the uh, results from that one. All right, here we are, Super Tech Oil. Now, the note from Blackstone says, this is a nice sample of 1030 oil. The viscosity is correct, and there isn't any moisture or any other contamination to address. Insolubles present are just a trace level, which is fine for virgin oil. Usually, it's just an additive that has fallen out of suspension. In terms of additives, the additive package consists mostly of calcium, detergent and dispersant, and phosphorus and zinc, which comes from the anti-wear compound ZDDP. There's also a little molly molybdenum anti-friction amongst a smattering of other elements. The TBN starts at a strong 5.3. This super tech oil should work well for you. So let's get down here. So phosphorus, 1,065 parts per million of phosphorus compared to the 756 parts per million in the Polaris oil. Zinc, 1,226 parts per million of zinc compared to 880 parts per million in the Polaris oil. Uh, we're at 11.4 for the viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius. That is still really good. And this is a 1030 oil, not a 50 weight oil. And the, the higher the weight, that's how it'll perform under temperature. So it's got a good flash point, 480 degrees, 475 on the Polaris oil. It's got a TBN of 5.3, where the TBN on the Polaris is 6.7. So very similar, but again, that is how long do you want to run your oil? Like, do you want to run 5,000, 8,000 miles on an oil change? Most of us, no. We probably get a few hundred miles on there, and we call it good. Based on that, the Walmart oil is also very, very good. So... For me, the Polaris dealer is about 20 to 25 minute drive each way from my house and they charge $11.99 for a quart of oil. Or I can get it on Amazon for about that price or a dollar more shipped to my house. The, uh, the Rotella oil is $22 a gallon, which does oil changes on both of my machines. I run the 570s, I run two quarts a piece. The Walmart, so that's about five and a half, five and a half dollars a quart. So in the Walmart oil at $5.68 a quart is also very competitive with the Rotella as far as additive packages and in price. Walmart is usually open 24 hours unless you're in uh, coronavirus hours, which now we got 7 to 8.30 at night, but whatever, that'll go away. But definitely Walmart's about two minutes from my house and I can pick up the, the Super Tech and the Rotella at Walmart usually at any time of day or night, any day of the week. I don't have to drive all the way down the other side of town to Polaris and pay $12 a quart for oil. That's actually not gonna perform as good for me as these other two. So if I'm changing my oil, I'm probably going to go for the Rotella first just because it's got a little bit higher additives in it, or uh, actually it kind of doesn't. But I'm definitely going to grab the Super Tech of the Rotella first because this is darn good oil. And to compare the Polaris just to some other ones, let's see, I, I grabbed a few other uh, sample sheets here. Now the, uh, this is a conventional 530 Super Tech. Conventional 530 Super Tech has 886 parts of zinc, 800 parts of phosphorus, and 1,995 parts per million of calcium. Very, very close to the Polaris oil. Full synthetic 530, regular car oil, not ATV oil, not anything, in the Super Tech brand. 
calcium, 2,336, so right there with the Polaris oil. Phosphorus, 706 parts per million, zinc, 838, right there with the Polaris oil. And that's a regular 530 full synthetic, nothing special, Walmart Super Tech oil that you buy for your, your brand new car or your you know, 2009 Honda Civic or whatever. Uh, high mileage oil. Uh, let's see, we have high mileage Super Tech. 1,508 parts of calcium, 793 parts of phosphorus, and 927 parts of zinc. Right there with the Polaris oil, if not even better. All right. Now, Tractor Supply Traveler brand oil in a 530 weight. The stuff you get on a Tractor Supply for 4 or $5 a quart. Calcium, 2,333 parts per million. Phosphorus, 669 parts per million. Zinc, 851 parts per million. Right there with the Polaris oil. Now, what does that mean for you? You gotta decide what oil you're gonna run. What are you gonna feel comfortable with in your mind, putting in your machine, knowing it's good oil? For me, any of these are fair game for me with these high levels of zinc, these high levels of phosphorus, and the high levels of calcium, that, that, that protection package right there. I will absolutely pick up either one of these or that Traveler brand from Tractor Supply before I ever make a 45 minute round trip down to my Polaris dealer trying to catch them on their times and their hours and deal with the people that are down there. Some people have good dealers, some people don't. Hmm. Anyway, they will not be getting $12 a quart for me for oil any longer because I will absolutely be picking up one of these or like I said, even that tractor supply oil. But there you have it. Uh, here's a fair unbiased shootout. These are just three oils. I know there's a ton of oils on the market. There's AMS oil, Red Line, Royal Purple, and the list goes on and on and on. So you choose what you want to run in your machine, what's going to make you feel good about what's in there. I know what I'm going to run, and I certainly hope this video helped you out. I hope to see you guys out on the trail, and keep on riding. God bless you.